to be a bit aggressive militarily. No, we should not. Not at all. Okay, I'm glad I checked before I acted. And I don't want to invade Morocco. I think I could win that, maybe, but that just puts me in contact with European powers even more. And Castile already knows about us, which is not ideal. Especially since we have a foothold in the New World. And they normally do that. Now they have to deal with us. And I don't think they're going to like doing that. But look at that. We have money and a lot of it. I think I can start uh, spending a bit. What's our force limit for um, fleets again? 19. Okay, yeah, we need to let's rebuild our tariff modifier. Six ships protecting sea lanes for 14 overseas provinces. That's abysmal. This should have place should help with that a bit. Also gives us more navy to fight pirates. I don't think it's going to help our economy very much, but um, who knows? Ah, self-sustaining colony. Where was this? I forgot to click. Show me. Ivory Coast, Saint Lucia. So it was. It sounds South American. It's this one. Yeah. Excellent. Um, let's go northward a bit. Yeah. Wave of knowledge is power. Um, okay, so we need Chem Docks, especially over here. Where's all the barks? There we are. Barks, barks, barks. Barks, barks, barks. Barks, barks, barks. Eleven ships for fourteen provinces. Good. I mean, it's not ideal, but definitely it's better than what we were getting. There's my trade fleet. Continue to patrol the coast of Guinea. Oh, and there's Castile, and I did not think they would be doing this right away. Take Atlantis itself? Are you kidding me? Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm a horrible military commander in this game. And I'm back, sorry for uh, interruption. So yeah, we're kind of boned. Um, I'm not gonna, probably gonna have to end up giving Atlantis to them. They're just too much of a power. Uh, can their fleet beat mine? Yes, easily. Oh, we should have gotten allies. We should have explored into Europe. That would have been smart. I wasn't thinking. Oh, I forgot to. This is not going well. Uh, sigh. Should have seen this coming. Let them go. The only thing we can do now is build carracks or build a carrack. and get you some decent leaders. The good thing about this is they don't budge, never mind. There's nothing good about this. Is there any way I can surrender? Atlantis will concede defeat. Oh, of course! Good job, Castile. Did I 
to give them money? No, I didn't. Okay. Darn, you steal. You are just the man. <laughs> Can't believe that worked. Oh, that makes me feel so happy. And now we have to improve relations with Spain. We have to actually use our diplomats for something. You have to tell them how great they are. Or Castile, they're not Spain yet. Well, this province has even greater base tax. Excellent. Dominica, we'll send them there. I wish I knew about the other islands, but I don't. I just I'm too far spread to get the conquistador now, or then I don't really care much. <laughs> it's still a great, uh, no matter what I do, it's a great province. Maintain shipping lanes. I don't think that's going to happen. How many overseas provinces do we have now? We have a pretty big force limit though. We need five ships. We could do that. We'll see. I think we should move the capital maybe. Not now. I already talked about that, never mind. We need more heavies. Wars, but War of Castile is a wake-up call that there is outside powers who covet Atlantis. And I'm not just playing some game of expansion where I'm always unopposed. I'm an easy imperialization impressor. Oppressor. So yeah, after I'm done with this current, or if I get another idea group, I'm going to pick up the... Uh, uh, either quantity or quality. I like the idea of quality because I think later on we'll have a lot of manpower from all the overseas territory we'll control. Okay, now it's a good idea to convert. some improvements. We can cap out our expansion ideas. Global trade power and we also get the permanent cost of spelling on anyone in Asia which actually does not help much. But that trade power thing is great. Boundary dispute with Mali. I'll press the issue simply because I don't think they're going to declare on me. We should rely more on trade income. Trade income at least 60%. That's not happening. Fortify Kamasi, that will happen. Where's that? Oh. Yeah, we'll do that after the missionary is done. It's almost 1492, and we already have a foothold in the New World compared to just discovering it, which is good. Bit early to the party, but that's how I roll. If there's any other uh, ideas that produce colonists, I don't think there are. No, there are not. Three is pretty much the max we can get, as far as I know. Maybe there's like a triggered modifier we could do, but I don't really care. 
Now we're making some sweet bank. Oh my gosh. What's our land force limit? Still fairly low. I think if we build armories, that will increase though. Let's try it. Let's see. I built two armories, so hypothetically I should increase it by two. Because the docks are doing the same thing, though. With docks, I think it makes a little bit more sense. Oh, no, no, they should pretty much do the same thing. How old is this guy? 66? Oh, he's not that bad. Oh, we colonized something. Uh, I think it was, oh yeah, it was that South America place. Cool, all right, we'll move the guy there. Core this. Anything here I forgot to core? No. Oh, Castile knows. That's not good. How are things looking with Castile? They're still hostile towards us. Uh, is there anything else we can really do? They're not the same religious group. Could send a gift. Probably have to send a gift. Do it for less? No. So that cost me most of my money, but was it worth it? We'll find out. Ridiculous money. Let's check our force limit. No, it did not increase with that. Oh, the armories aren't done. Never mind. Santa Gambian. I'm pronouncing that wrong. I know. And no, it did not increase our modifier or er, limit here. Oh man, I really should be doing stuff with these conquistadors, shouldn't I? And not going way over my military limit. Our god emperor or whatever is doing great deals for us. Great deal for us. Administratively. Uh, when can we get our next idea group? 13 years. Oh, wait, that's not our next idea group. That's just our next admin tech. Our next idea group will be at level 10, which is soon. Just have to see. For now, we'll just keep colonizing. Should keep building docks and equivalents. Dry docks. How much does that increase our native? Or I need. What am I doing? Our force limit by our native naval force limit. I don't know, whatever. Uh, we'll build for now uh, early Carrick and two more barks. That'll cause inflation, actually. Oh, wait, no, that's the inflation factoring into it. Excellent. Constable would benefit this place. Let's make a bit more dough. Making a lot of dough right now, actually. Hey, did I still have... No, okay, I'm cranking all the maintenance up. Good. Native Uprising in Dominga. Dominica. Gold Rush. Yeah! So we're inflated because of that. Uh, how's our tariff efficiency? 12 ships for 17. To build 5 ships, build, put us slightly over the force limit. I bet I could. If I just double bark somewhere. Oh, wait, no, we need to, we, I only need to build 3. 
still I need to build another dock. And that can be built here. And here, let's build some more docks, the more the merrier. Keep maintaining our empire. And since we built some extra docks, let's celebrate by getting another heavy ship. The more we can fight Castile, the better. And we need a dry dock here. Where's the trade fleet right here? Okay. Uh, you are going to be accompanied by Carex now because if. Because Rise of the Pretender, are you kidding me? Oh, and the God Emperor died. Oh, no. That's not good. Still a great king. Like by normal U4 standards. But now we can't just spend our points willy nilly. Okay. Where's he rising? St. Lucia. Don't have anybody there to fight him. Oh, we're gonna have to fight. We're gonna have to redirect. Wait, no, we can build mercenaries. What am I thinking? Or we can't because it's overseas. Well, shit. delay this as long as possible. I know it's a little cheesy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <coughs> Excuse me. And build some ships. Build the cog. Wait. Actually, no. I'm not sure how that actually works. You build a cog here. You'll be under siege long enough to complete it. Or you won't be under siege long enough to not complete it. Or I don't know. Words. I meant something to do with those things. There we go. A decent general. Actually not decent, great. We gotta reduce that inflation, though we can't just keep spending admin points like that now. Thankfully, we'll still be able to save a lot on these uh, on admin points and whatnot because of our technology uh, is r completely reduced in half because Atlanteans are amazing. Oh, we're gonna break the morale! Come on, come on, come on! No. Damn it! Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Well, we can still do this. We're just gonna have to waste money. Or, men, we're gonna have to waste lives. Okay. Got a ton of little fleets buzzing around. Everybody form up in the island of Atlantis. Better. Another bark. Navy's not on par with Castile, but it's getting there. And in some ways, it's better. We have a lot of light ships. I think we have three heavies. Yes. I would like to ideally have five. We're making so much money. I was concerned a bit there. We, I was gonna just we're way over our force limit um, that could be fixed what is this pretender one maybe I can just get him to bug off bugger off um, handle him wants to change the government so he'll never do anything. He'll never be content. Great. 